Hey guys, today is day 18 of 52 days of affirmations and today's affirmation set is 16 affirmations to combat feelings of loneliness. Um, a lot of us are still quarantined, so I feel like this is right on time for what a lot of people are going through and feeling. It's interesting because loneliness can be something that you feel when you're literally by yourself. And I feel like it's also something that you can experience even when you're in the company of others. I think it just depends on what makes us feel loved and what makes us feel like we're in good company. And most importantly, what makes us feel like we're receiving quality time. So definitely want to always be intentional about when I recognize that maybe I'm feeling lonely, especially since um, I don't live back home in Houston anymore. I have to be really intentional about trying to surround myself with um, the people that I love and create new experiences and just find creative ways to keep from falling into the pit of loneliness and what that can be. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing that we're gonna do actually is a breathing exercise. So let's begin. I wanna do a reset emotionally to find our center. We're gonna breathe in the good. We're gonna breathe out the bad. We're gonna breathe in the good. Breathe out the bad. Breathe in the good. Breathe out the bad. One more time, we're gonna breathe in the good. Breathe out the bad. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I dismiss anything trying to distract me from this moment as I lay my heart before you. Lord, I pray that you will see my pain, wipe away my tears, see the desires of my heart, and surround me with a sense of love and security that only you can provide. I breathe in happiness, security, sound relationships, and love. I breathe out insecurity, discord, disappointments, unhealthy relationships, and unmet expectations. I breathe in forgiveness, patience, vulnerability, and generosity. I breathe out grudges, hard feelings, or shortcomings preventing me from connection. Number one, I am a child of God. I know my worth. I am blessed and highly favored. I am valuable. My time is valuable. I attract relationships that build me up. I attract relationships that add value to my life and vice versa. I attract people who have a genuine love for me. I am on the path to finding my community. Have the truest friends. My friend group is not forced. My relationships are not forced. My community is being developed authentically and organically. Loneliness isn't a final destination. I am intentional about building a life I love. I trust the process. My future is filled with laughter and good times and beautiful memories to be made. I have an abundance of all good things. Now, I want us to do another exercise, and this time it's going to be a visualization exercise. I want you to close your eyes, and then I want you to take 15 seconds to visualize yourself happy, really, truly happy. I want you to see yourself having the best time. I want you to see yourself surrounded by loved ones and friends who have become family. I want you to really explore the fullness of what this looks like. I want you to just breathe it all in. And then I want you to let yourself smile because this is the future that you are building for yourself. So when I first moved to Philly, I definitely was feeling just kind of displaced. Um, when I moved from Houston to New York, I had a lot of friends in New York already. So it was 
I won't say like an easy transition, but it was an easier transition because I, on the weekend, I had somebody I could connect with. I was going back and forth between New York and Philly to visit Warren, and it was just a really awesome time. Um, whereas when I came to Philly, the time that I spent in New York, obviously, it was like a lot less, and Houston is really far away from Philly, so it was definitely kind of a jarring transition, especially since he traveled so much for work, and I kind of just had to find a new normal that worked for me, um, and I had to be really intentional about defining what that is. So I say that to say that loneliness is something that I can relate to as well. Um, and if you do feel like you're just kind of in a season, season of loneliness, whether it's because you're looking for a better friend group, or maybe you're hoping that God will send you a partner to do life with, um, just hang in there. And I think you have to also be very intentional about it. So like I said, I love that set of affirmations because I think it's a great way to speak past the reality of what um, you're experiencing at that time. But I also think it's good to be intentional and proactive about making it happen if you see something in your life that doesn't quite fit the vision that you have. So anyway, if you would like to join along with me while I read the affirmations, get a copy of Speak Those Things, 52 Affirmations to Build a Life You Love. You can get a copy on thecoffeebreak.com, my website, and also on Amazon. As always, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care.